developing story out of the state capitol. A last minute amendment to a school finance bill would ban transgender women from competing in women's sports. News Channel 8's Jeff Morgan spoke with the chairman of the committee that sent the bill to the House. Senate Bill 2, initially a finance bill, could now end transgender women competing in women's sports. It passed the committee by a vote of 4-1 to one with Representative Marie Turner, the lone no. This is not an anti-transgender bill at all. This is an absolute pro-female athlete bill. Representative Justin Humphrey allowed the bill to be heard in the committee after a similar bill was shut down. The Save Women's Sport Act was added in at the last minute. And the fact that we found a creative way to get that in front of all those people upset some, but that's the political process. The Oklahoma Equality Center sees it as a waste of taxpayer dollars. Legislators are dragging Oklahomans out into deep water that will not stand up in court and the Oklahoma taxpayer will pay the bill. The Supreme Court has already ruled on these particular things multiple times. The Oklahoma Secondary Schools Activities Association requires schools to report males transitioning to females that play in women's sports. The policy has been in place for eight years. Executive Director David Jackson says they haven't received a single report during that time. Well, if it's not a big issue, then why are we catching so much slack on it? Why are we pushing a transgender agenda on society? for a point zero three percent of the population. Toby Jenkins with the Oklahoma Equality Center had this to say. Because the only reason you're passing it is you want to bully transgender children and their families. Representative Humphrey said he's had women thank him for passing along this bill. Reporting in Tulsa, Jeff Morgan, News Channel 8. The bill is going to the House and the Senate to be debated. If approved, it then heads to the governor's desk.